Hello, uh, I want to share some notes on the novel The Secret River with my students. The novel The Secret River is written by Kate Granville and this novel is on the clash between native people of Australia and Britishers who made it their colony. The protagonist of the novel, William Thornhill, who belonged to London and who used to live in the slums of London, uh, belonged to a very poor family. William Thornhill's family was so poor that the children had to steal and uh, even the mother used to steal things. Um, they didn't have enough food to eat and enough clothes to wear. So uh, as the story begins in the novel, uh, William Thornhill is growing as a young boy and um, he uh, is becoming an angry boy um, because of his poverty, because of his circumstances. Um, this character, William Thornhill, um, is very important um, because he grows out of poverty. And during his growing years, he uh, keeps looking at a girl, Sal, um, who lives nearby. Uh, Sal's family is like an ideal family for William because um, Sal's uh, family is comparatively rich. They have enough food to eat. They, um, there is only one child. So um, uh, William keeps on looking at Sal's family and um, you know have a desire to have a family like that. Um, then William befriends Sal. They become friends. And uh, William likes Sal a lot because Sal uh, is very friendly. She lo he loves Sal's uh, smile a lot. And they have a good time together um, in the evenings. And William loves spending time with Sal. Um, slowly, uh, William joins one or two jobs. And um, later, he joins a job with... Uh, as an apprentice, he joins with uh, Mr. Middleton, who is Sal's father. Now, Mr. Middleton gives him few years to work as an apprentice, and then he says that uh, if those years are successful, um, he would, Mr. Middleton, would marry his daughter Sal to William. William uh, works very hard during these years um, and uh, obviously um, he has to work harder than other people um, in order to gain the experience of, uh, of uh, rowing a boat um, on the river and transporting things. Um, the weather is not uh, very friendly and he has to work very hard. Uh, but in the end, after a few years, he uh, he uh, is out of that ap apprenticeship, he becomes um, uh, free and uh, he owns uh, his own boat and he gets married to Sal. Uh, now, uh, obviously, William and Sal are very happy. They enjoy their married life together and uh, they have a son, Willie. Um, now, William and Sal um, are actually having a good time together. Um, when um, William uh, is doing his job and uh, earning good money, and um, but uh, a time comes when um, their suffering begins. Um, what happens, um, it's that Mr. Middle, Mr. Middleton and Mrs. Middleton, as they are living a happy life together, Mrs. Middleton falls sick. Sal's mother falls sick. And um, Mr. Middleton is 
caring for her a lot and um, Mr. Middleton is um, buying um, medicines and so many um, things for her and he cares for her a lot but um, uh, there is a day when Mr. Middleton also falls sick when he falls off on the way on the ice um, after uh, when he's coming back from home uh, to home he f uh, he just falls off and um, ha it happens so that Mr. Middleton uh, dies first and then Mrs. Middleton also dies now this time is very difficult for William and Sal Sal is obviously very sad because of his because of her parents and uh, then the period of poverty begins again. Um, William doesn't own a boat anymore. Uh, William doesn't own um, the house. Um, they are now in a state of poverty. There is ice everywhere. So even the job of the boat is also not with him. So he is um, out of job. He uh, Again, they have to live life of poverty when they don't have anything to eat and um, they have they also think of stealing sometimes um, their clothes are all torn off and um, a very poor state so uh, then again the time changes uh, when the ice melts and the jobs on the river are resumed so then again William starts a job Mm, but uh, there is a there is a rule over there if um, an employee is caught stealing there is a very harsh uh, punishment for that thief and usually the workers they keep on stealing things um, and uh, William also just like them William also is in the habit of stealing um, but he takes a lot of precautions not to get caught but um, what happens uh, one day he gets caught while stealing wood and then he has to go to prison um, and usually it's the death sentence for thieves um, but luckily William uh, William Thornhill doesn't get death sentence. Um, there is another punishment for him. The punishment is that he would have to be shifted to uh, Australia because Australia was the place where prisoners were sent on boats. So um, this is the punishment. Now there has to be a master for the slave. He is going like a slave. And um, there has to be a master for him also. Who is going to be the master? The the master who is appointed by the by the court refuses to go. And then um, it's Sal only, his wife, who is made his master. And um, they go on the boat. They are actually transported. They are uh, transported on the boat uh, to Australia. Uh, where they have to start their life again after nine months on the water they reach Australia and um, there um, again William is reunited with his family and they start their life again but it's very difficult to um, live over there because Australia is still um, a wild place and uh, uh, it's it's the beginning of 19th century the time i'm talking about it's the beginning of 19th century and um, actually kate grenville has written this novel to uh, explore the relationship between these new white settlers and the blacks the natives who already lived there from centuries so uh, this is the aim of writing this novel and now when uh, William Thornhill reaches Australia um, he is very poor and he uh, is a slave and he has to work hard again to start with his new life um, within one year then working over there he again he has to work on the river and um, 
he gains after one year he gains a free ticket he becomes a free man and um, uh, then he can own something of his own also so he uh, william he um, start, he he's working for mr king he's working as a lighter man on the boat of mr king the name of the boat of mr king is queen and um this is how he is uh, beginning his job over there and he's working on the river um the river is very active with the boats uh, because the things are to be transported and um, uh, now william kind of befriends um uh, thomas black blackfoot uh, thomas blackwood who was also a convict but who had grown in that area after living for some time and um, then it happens that uh, william plans of buying a boat of his own and he buys um the boat of thomas blackwood and names it hope and uh, slowly and gradually now he is uh, earning money he is saving money um now sal his wife has a dream that after some time after few years they'll be going back to england after saving money they'll be going back to england um this is her dream but uh, william buys the boat starts working very hard on the boat starts saving money and um it's like a period of struggle for uh william uh, both of them uh, sal is also working hard with him uh, then um, william discovers a place um, when he goes with thomas blackwood on the boat he discovers a place um, which is near uh, hoxbury uh, hoxbury river now uh, britishers uh, you know own um, patches of land over there um along that river and uh, they grow crops over there now william has a dream uh, a passionate dream that he should buy a patch of land um uh, over there hoxbury river and he should grow crops um first sal is very reluctant she is scared of going to that place because that place is sometimes attacked by the black native people but later she agrees and william and sal shift to that place um which is uh, very scary um they shift to that place along with their children now when they shift over there they have to build a hut and they have to work really very hard to grow the crops because the weather is not friendly in the day time it's very hot but they have to work hard to grow the crops william has to work hard and um finally they are successful in growing the crops in that desert kind of area and um, uh, it's the corn which they grow and uh, uh, now what what kind of interaction do they have with the black native people who live um nearby uh, in the forest um blacks who, the native people they um, have been living there from centuries and they they feel it's their land and but they don't have any sense of ownership they don't have any sense of settle, settlement at a particular place they just keep roaming around they don't build houses um but they feel as if they, that is their land now it's like um, whites do not understand their language blacks do not understand the language of the whites so there is a you know kind of culture clash between them and um, now william uh, when he is growing that crop um, he feels that it is his land he has uh, gained control of that land after a long difficulty so william thinks that no one should come and poach on his land um, but in reality blacks are in the habit of attacking whites um now there are many neighbors over there also um smasher sullivan who is the servant of thomas blackwood but the neighbors live very far off from each other and um, 
uh, Sajiti is there and there are so many other neighbors but who live far off from that place. Um, now uh, William uh, once, uh, sometimes William tries to have a conversation with the blacks but it's not a very friendly conversation. Sometimes um, William and his family are very scared of um, uh, native people also because um, they are so many number and um, once they start gathering near his hut also and um, they are so many number when William and his family are very less in number and um, they they can't confront them so um, it's it, that time is very dreadful for William's family um, but later now once once uh, it happens that um, the blacks they attack William's crops and they start stealing corn uh, it's at that time when William has to fight with them and uh, he has to use his gun and he um, that's a you know real fight that c clashes there and then um, the uh, blacks they they run away but um, the enmity uh, actually begins and then uh, later um, Thomas Blackford is also a neighbor and um, Thomas Blackford has uh, an Ebb original wife, a native wife, and uh, he is uh, in the favor of Aboriginal people. Uh, now, uh, so it happens that um, William Thornhill, another neighbor, Sajeti, gets killed by blacks because it's the habit of blacks to keep attacking whites uh, to get their things or you know to um, you know to um, fight with them. So. Uh, it, what happens? Sajeti gets killed, and um, it's after Sajeti gets killed that um, William Thornhill and so many other neighbors they plan to have um, a battle with uh, the blacks. Now this actual battle um, takes place, and um, many blacks get killed, and um, few whites also get killed, and. Um, uh, now here it's shown that uh, William Thornhill has um, this this villainous uh, uh, side also of his personality. Uh, earlier we always thought William Thornhill was a very hardworking, very uh, loving kind of person, but he has this side of his personality also. Um, he has this sense of ownership. He wants to um, live a life of dignity and a life of security. So when um, this battle happens, William Thornhill fights very actively and um, the blacks get killed. Okay, So now uh, it is this way that William Thornhill starts owning his land and uh, getting hold of this land. And after almost 10 years, uh, William Thornhill becomes a very rich man um, at that place. And um, he has a big house, um, a lot of money and, uh, you know, uh, but somewhere there is guilt in William Thornhill's heart that this is not his land. Uh, he came from London. Uh, this is not his land. And Sal also always wanted to go back to England, but she never could uh, go back. And now William has this, um, somewhere has this guilt in his heart that this is not his land and this land belongs to blacks or the native people only. So Kate Cranwell has written this novel, this historical novel, to highlight that earlier, early 19th century time when uh, Britishers, they made Australia their colony and how they started settling at that place. Thank you.